Please, sorry, during this difficult period, it is our prayer that God will strengthen the family and give you fortitude to bear the loss. May Mzee's soul rest in the loving arms of the Almighty God. Thank you. Mugitaka zingine story zingine ntawambia badai. Asante. Wataka ufuata ni Moses Nyachai, Chief Nyandusi Nyachai, na Brian Nyandusi. Ntawamba wajonge mbele. Na mkini kubalia let us reduce protocol to make it shorter. Reduce the protocol kindly. Nice one. Um, all protocols observed. Thank you very much uh, for giving me the opportunity to just give a very short tribute. It's impossible to follow my brother Ken with all his uh, stories. I'm going to try and keep it brief. Um, as everybody has said, um, both in Nairobi and the various tributes that we've received, um, and I'm sure will be forthcoming as, as other speakers uh, give their tributes. Dad was a hard working man and, and the hardest working man I've ever known and he's somebody that we as his children just aspire to emulate in everything that we do. As much as we emulate his work ethic and his principles, we also try and emulate his um, sense of family and family responsibility. And there's just a couple of examples that I can give which in my mind, sort of in my experience, just sort of captures that. And it's not stuff that you necessarily appreciated when you were young, but you appreciate in, in older age. And um, when I look back at in the early 80s, when, when you know, my brother who follows me, Eric, uh, was starting uh, primary school in Nairobi, when dad had just been uh, uh, moved from uh, Central to be a PS in the office of the president, we had a routine in the morning We'd wake up and have to be out of the house with dad by 6.45 at the latest. Because his routine was to taingia gari na ye, atupeleke paka office of the president, and then we'd now switch. He would go and start his day. He'd give us his driver, Kenoka, who uh, Mike mentioned earlier. Kenoka was stationed at the office of the president. Kenoka now would take us to uh, St. Mary's, which was our primary school. Do that every day. In the evening, come home, and he was a very he was a fitness fanatic. So he would always get uh, want to do his exercises. And at some point, he he, he took up squash, and used to take uh, us to to play with uh, one of his uh, uh, family friends. Tuki, when we moved to uh, to Loresho in the mid 80s, Ali Jenga squash court, and his routine in the evenings would be. As soon as he's, he, he comes in, he'll atakuliza, Mozu, umemaliza homework. I say, yes, sasa badilisha nguwa, tuende tucheze. He'd always want to have that experience of just spending time with, with family in, in whatever way we can. And it was actually great for both of us because we were, we were quite competitive. And it's, it's a very weird feeling sometimes when ulikuwa na cheza na your dad, and he's, he's the one who got me into the game, and eventually... I was able to outperform him. And it was a very mixed feeling of pride and guilt that I remember going through. Um, but it, those are you know, memories that I, that I cherish. Why am I saying all this? Because the hardworking element was he would go out, work throughout the whole day, come back in the evening, spend time with his family in whatever little routine he'd, he'd get into. And as Angela said, dinner time, family all the time, all day long. Whether he's having a meeting uh, with, with uh, some business colleagues or some uh, you know, politicians or, or people in government, I never, he was never out and about or, you know, Amanda Kule Mkutano Serena or what have you. He was always, everyone was at home because dinner time was dinner time. Na kama wageni wanataka kuka for dinner, that's fine. But he was at home for dinner with his family. And these are things which you might not necessarily appreciate the importance of, you know, as you're, as you're growing up, but um, it's, it's as you reflect on his life and how you want to conduct your life going forward, those are the things that, uh, you know, uh, are, are my dearest memories. Um, not so dear are when, when things didn't go right. Um, and as Mike mentioned, there were a few of us special ones uh, who uh, the, the blows were reserved for. Uh, 
And Ken, as Ken said, he was not the only one. I can confess I was the other one. Um, and I too can attest to the, the swiftness of uh, feet and uh, nimbleness and, and just cunning in terms of positioning you into a place of where you just have to submit. So I've, 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 got, I've got stories galore which I could get into, but without, with the wish of not uh, taking up too much time, I just want to conclude by saying that we are grateful for all the love and support that uh, friends and family have shown uh, to dad over the years and in these uh, last few days as we uh, take him on his final journey. Um, it's not something that we take for granted and we're very grateful as I'm sure dad is. Um, we ju I just want to say to, to dad who I'm sure is watching over all of us, uh, we know what you were about dad and it was about family unity and, and as I said in, in my tribute in, in Nairobi, please rest in peace knowing that we'll not let you down. Thank you.